The start as all as qualifiers with my final two races of the week. And as if we start with the hurdle, it's two miles seven furlongs north to one twenty this week. Castle sweeps John Morgan under orders Martin Liam, Barley Notes and Crucial Elsie. James Shane, Glamist, Alex Cherry, Duparque, Darren Thompson, Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, City Carnival, Jim Murray, Orange Cassidy, Matt Cooper, Rock of Ages, Padre Hogan, Vermont, Alex Cherry and Nightmare for Jamie Hopkins. Filled off twelve. Called in, ready to go, and away they go. Under orders, the first one to show. It's about that unique track where they don't go up the straight until the end. Uh, if I remember right, there's a huge running at this one as well. But it's Under Orders who is showing the way at the moment. It's over the first of the 11. Seems happy enough to make the running. Yeah, the Rock of Ages and Olive Oil, second and third. Nightmare and Castle Sweeps. It's the one grey in this field again. It's Vermont this time. And it's under orders. He's under orders and he's in the lead. Leading by three lengths. To Rock of Ages in second. Nightmare on the inside is in third. And comes Olive Oil, City Carnival and Barley Notes in a line with Castle Sweeps and just a Half length behind them. And that one's inside is De Parque as they take the third. And the cherry pair towards the back, Glamis and Vermont. But under orders is setting the pace as we go past the other end of the straight. We're doing that a couple more times yet. And under orders is in the lead. Five or six lengths up on Rock of Ages for Padre Hogan in the yellow and black. Purple colours are nightmare on the inside as they take the fourth. Which they all get over nicely. Castle sweeps in the pale blue for John Morgan. This one's quite happy to sit in the pack, not one of his front runners. All the oils in the mid division as well. That one was around last season. And towards the back, Crucial Elsie is just the back marker. the leader then as they go past the entrance of the straight again actually I think that's the exit from the straight isn't it entrance of the straight at the other end and they jump over the fifth with under orders in front clearing the lead just a little round then seeing how far in front he was and so with the sixth there's still a mile and a half to go so it's far too early to be thinking about going for home and uh, I remember he does serve there's a long run in here so it'll be difficult to maintain a long lead I would think it's probably a good track for the horse is chasing something but Under Orders is currently the leader and the rest of them are all chasing him Rock of Ages second, Olive Oil third, City Carnival fall and Castle Sweeps and Barley Notes, Nightmares just dropped back a little bit Orange Cassidy on the outside of that one as they take the seventh and Duparque is getting a little bit closer Vermont also being switched to the outside three lengths and Olive Oil's moved into second Castle Swoops and Barley Notes and next Duparque just giving away a little bit of ground coming wide but Still seems to be going well as they take the eighth. They've just got three more flights to get over. Their orders is in the lead. Barley Notes now pokes its head into second. That's the pack close on the leader again. Not sure whether that's the pack getting quicker or the jockey giving the leader a bit of a break. Six furlongs and three flights to go. And the lead is now down to the shortest it's been. It's only two lengths now and he's just shaking up under orders. leads by two Barley Notes is second Rock of Ages is third the one who's looking for somewhere to go is Jim Murray City Carnival can't get through on the inside or the outside the lead for under orders is now a little more than a length or two but now he starts to pull away again so maybe he was just being given a little bit of a mid-race breather the rest of them have responded though and are going with him and it's under orders who's in front leading by three 
On the outside, Orange Cassidy is maybe just second. Rock of Ages Castle sweeps Barley Notes as they race into the final three furlongs. They've only got one more flight to take and then the big long running and it's Under Orders who's still in the lead. Barley Notes has now come through into second. Then Castle sweeps and Orange Cassidy. The leader's under a bit of pressure. I'm expecting it to be swamped in a second or two as they come to the final flight. Under Orders landed in front. Barley Notes is second. Castle sweeps on the outside is third. Rock of Ages is struggling for room. So too is Olive Oil. Under Orders is battling on in front but Barley Notes is now beginning to wear him down. So too is Castle sweeps they're inside the final half furlong under orders is battling away well but castle sweeps and barley notes are getting closer now they go on and also on the inside rock of ages has poked his head in front just at the right time and rock of ages wins it castle sweeps second barley notes olive oil kitty carnival after that one and long time leader under orders didn't quite get home and Padraig hogan's rock of ages poked its head in front just the right time to take it, so Rock of Ages for Padre Hogan, the winner. Castle Sweeps for John Morgan, second. Barley Notes for James Shea was third. Olive Oil, Matt Cooper, fourth. And the long-time leader, Under Orders, was fifth.